Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, is it true that in IT companies most of the good code is written by just a few developers? So let's get into it. Well, to a point I would say that this is true but it's probably not true for the reason you may think because the thing that usually people assume is that there is this well, let's call it skill gap between developers and to a point that is absolutely true, but hopefully I can give you a mind, like my mindset around this and kind of my experiences and hopefully it will maybe change the light that you view this, this type of thing from in right. So basically in my world, what's going to happen when you start at an IT company, or rather when you start an IT company, you're part of any type of IT company is that you're going to realize one fundamental truth and that is that you are not the first person to work there. Well, unless you are, of course. But as time progresses within any company, you will have people who work there for some time and then leave, and then you will have people who join the company and just stay there forever. There's all these varying degrees of experience within the company, and that is very natural. Like if you have an employee who may or may not have been working there for 10 years, and then you have a junior who started just a week ago, as you can imagine, their productivity level is going to be very different. And it is through this very hard to trace process where good developers distinguish themselves from bad developers. You see, a bad developer will focus solely on their own productivity and their own work process within the company. And the reason why I call this a bad developer is because as they work, especially the ones that have worked for like worked there for a really, really long time, they will prioritize their own contribution to the company above all else. In other words, they're more focused on getting their own stuff done, making sure that you know their position within the company is secure and that they're doing things in accordance to what they feel is right and so forth. And because they're exposed to varying, like as you work, you get exposed to different parts of the system and the more stories you work on, the more co of the code that is within the system is going to be yours. Now you li likely are the sort of person who knows your own code, right? So as you can imagine, as long as they're within the company and you know, over the years, they accumulate all this knowledge and, they, and the system starts to grow in a direction that makes sense to them in their head. But if they only focus on their own productivity within the system, what's going to happen is that anybody who comes after them is going to be less productive. And especially if this person doesn't like do type collaboration and knowledge sharing to the extent that is actually required. That is why I argue that this is a bad developer because although their individual productivity is sky high, if they are being evaluated at a personal level, they're going to look really good and everybody else is going to look kind of shitty in comparison there. But th that's the problem right there, because if they were doing what they were supposed to be doing, this sort of issue wouldn't happen. Because if there is a mismatch between their productivity and everybody else's productivity, the company will suffer. So at the expense of the entire company's ability, the, the velocity, of, if you will, to deliver things to, to their customers, this person now gets this stamp of being in high, a high producing type of developer within the system or within the company. And this is why I call this a bad developer. And you would be surprised how many of these there are around. This is, it's a real problem. This is one of those reasons where I say that a good developer can make or break your company. And a bad developer can slow you down. Like as, just as legacy code within the system can slow your velocity as a company down. A single developer that works in this fashion and is in the company for long enough can actually truly, truly grind everything down to a halt. But a good developer is the sort of person who understands that in order for the company to be able to deliver as quickly as possible, it is more important that they structure the solutions that they, they provide in a very easy to maintain and easy to digest manner for anybody who's coming around. In other words, it's the sort of person who works long enough to gain real domain knowledge, shares that information with absolutely everybody, makes sure to mentor people, shares, you know, answers questions, all this stuff, right? And as they work, they identify the, because, you know, they have the domain knowledge, they realize that, oh, these parts here, we can actually abstract that down and make this a much smoother experience for new hires. 
Because what now happens is that although by comparison, their productivity is going to be at a very similar, like a more similar level to everybody else, the entire company's velocity goes up. And that's what you want. That's the perfect programmer. That is the true 10x programmer. A 10x programmer is not a person who by themselves just produces more code than everybody else. Because if you have such an individual, it's very likely that there's a much broader underlying issue to as to why that person is so productive. It can, of course, be because they're just that good. They're, they're just that good. But it's very rarely the case. It's more likely that they simply have more domain knowledge, like critical domain knowledge and experience within a very flawed system. If you have a really ugly, bad system and you have somebody who's been working there since day one and everybody, you know, that's one of the few people who are productive versus everybody else, then that person is the problem, if that makes sense to you. However, if you have a work experience or rather an onboarding experience where most people kind of get productive fairly quickly and everything is you know it's just another day at the office and things are kind of just moving along and there's no really one person who seems to be a lot more productive than everybody else while everybody else is at a very similar level then you have a good balance to things rough um, in, in in my mind at least so the thing that I want you to take away from this is basically that the true 10x programmer, a truly skilled developer, is the sort of person who, like, it's kind of, it's hard to tell them apart from everybody else when everything is working. Because if they have done their job right, they, you should see that hiring people and getting them up to speed with the system should be a fairly straightforward process. You will very likely hear about you have other companies out there who have an onboarding process that it much, it's maybe much longer than yours because of the state of their system. And this is exactly where you, re this is when you as a company truly realize that you have some, types of, some type of 10x programmer or maybe a group of 10x programmers within your company because if they're truly good at what they do, they realize that the important thing is not their individual productivity, it is the company's overall productivity that is important and a good programmer will structure their to their solutions in such a way that even a junior programmer or somebody a lot less experienced than them with the less domain knowledge will be able to come in and just start to, to start to contribute so that is going to be my answer on this one it's uh, some people will think that this is just down to skill but if you think about it yourself if i have been working if i've been working for several years on the same system i mean this is then it's very easy for me to very confidently make quick decisions and be productive whereas a person who has just maybe worked a f like just a year or two like a f you know a shorter time than me i mean they have to still they have to discover things in the system when they've worked for as long as you know somebody who's more senior they will very likely be at the same type level of productivity and you should expect that. The productivity of each developer should be fairly similar the longer they work. And if they work for roughly the same amount of time, they should be equal. If it's vastly different, then somebody in the, in the pro, you have, then you have a programmer who is slowing everybody else down somewhere. Have a great day.